Hello my co highs hope you're all doing well, and welcome to today's Path of Titan Showcase, because we have not one, but two new creatures to look at, which are brought to us by the Primordial Tyrant's mod team. We don't really do mod showcases on this channel, but these two were ones I really wanted to show off, so why don't we go ahead and dive in by looking for one of these creatures. Ah, there it is. So the first animal we're going to be taking a look at is the Primordial Tyrant's Torvosaurus. And yeah, that looks like Torvosaurus, alright. It looks pretty cool. Now, Torvosaurus has been modded in the game before, as we have this little guy right here, who's got hardly any skins, really. Both of these Torvosaurus mods are cool, but obviously we're going to be looking at this one. So here we have the male and the female. And of course, like most of the Primordial Tyrant mods, we have variations, so we have variation 1, the stocky, the slim, the larger crest, the exposed teeth, and the head variation. Honestly, this one speaks to me quite a bit. It just looks so angry. Well, let's first make our guy here, right? Let's go a bile flare. So here we are in Triad Falls with our baby Torvosaurus. Looks pretty good. It looks like a little baba. So let's go ahead and check out the calls. Here is the broadcast. It sounds a lot like a bear cub. The friendly. Okay, very standard. Threaten. Ooh, a nice little hiss. Alert. Ooh, there's a lot of personality in that one. General. The head wobble. Look out. Or in this case, sniffing. Oh, that's so beautifully animated. I, I like that. It kind of reminds me of the T-Rex. Uh, what's this animation? What is that? I like that animation. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I really like that one, actually. Let's do that again. It's like a big old cat. Yeah, that's really nice. And here we have the running animation, which is... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks really smooth. Stamina goes down pretty slow, but again, we are a hatchling, so that obviously would change over time. Now, why don't we do ourselves a little favor and grow? And here is the adult version of the Torvosaurus, which again, looks mighty fine. Nice walking... Uh, nice... Uh, walking speed. How about running? It looks like it's an in-between between the T-Rex speed and Aloe speed, so it's not too fast. But look at that stamina drain. That's barely doing anything. Look at that. That's really cool. So this is a dinosaur that can get around, from what I can see. Now, let's go over the animations. Okay. Broadcast. Ah, uh, cool. Okay, friendly. Nice. Threaten. Cool. Alert. The alert is so cool on this dinosaur. General. Head wobble. Sniff. Really nice. The down. Sounds a lot like a big cat, like a lion or a tiger. And that animation I really like. Mm, 
Nice. This call is so beautiful. Listen to that. It's like it's like a big jungle cat or something. Like very lion or tiger like. It's what it, it's giving big cat vibes. Anyway, now let's take the opportunity to look at some skins. Oh. That's a cool little sit down and sleep animation. Right, so let's take a look at some of the skins we got here. So starting off, we had the Badlands, which looks really nice. Like that pattern quite a bit. The Tropical. That's another nice one. Albino. You know, just bland and white. Melanistic. Angle. Ooh. Ooh, that's a sexy skin. Tigress. Oh, we're coming back with Tigress. That was also on the Primordial Tyrants T-Rex. Jaeger? Ooh, I could probably make a really cool skin with this. Filigree. Or Filigree. I don't know how to pronounce that. It looks alright. Georgia. Very tiger-like. Clouded? Like a clouded leopard, I guess. Like, by name only. Venimnum? Venenum? Very greeny brown. Molten! That... That... Straight up looks like the Dinosaur Revolution Torbosaurus. So you know you know I'm gonna pick that skin. Canyon. Society. Okay. Interesting name for a skin. And Tequila! We're gonna go with the molten skin here. Because <laughs> we just we just gotta. And let's also have a look at this guy's abilities. Acceleration, plus acceleration speed, plus 3 attack, plus 5% attack knockback. I'm not sure which of these builds would be good, but honestly, knockback sounds really good. And we have two head slot bites. We have the bite that causes medium damage. Successful bite stack damage. That's pretty good. Competitive strike. A bite attack that decreases speed of target. Honestly, sounds nice. We also have Shatter Point, low bite da damage bite. When biting a primed target, the bite deals extra damage. I'm not sure what that means. And Splintering Bite, low bite damage gives the primed debuff. This would be interesting. Berserker, when low on health, your attack. Your attacks cool down 25% faster and deal 10 more damage. Or Headhunter, the nearest creature outside your group takes increased headshot damage. That would be nice. Shove, lunge forward, knocking back your enemies. So I guess it's like a headbutt. We'll obviously be checking out the animations for all of these. Metabolism. Hyper carnivore only able to eat meat, food drains slower. Sugar tooth, able to eat fruits and roots in addition to meat. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, scavenger, can eat fish, meat, sh carrion shells, bone, blah, 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 fast food, and yeah, obviously no one wants that. Hide. Resilient scales increases bleed and venom healing by 30%. Uh, reduces knockback received by 50%. Slick scales, bucking and struggling while being carried will now drain enemy stamina 30% faster. Legs. Brace legs. Ignore uphill movements. Decrease increases speed when moving downhill by 10%. Reduces fall damage. Reduces running stamina by 15%. Honestly, this sounds like it could be really cool. Uh, tail. Obviously, the tail attack is handy because, <laughs> honestly, why would you want anything else? And voice. Get a surge energy replenishes 25 stamina. All right, so let's check out the animations for all these packs. So here's just the regular bite. Ooh, that crunch, listen to that. The competitive bite, it's basically the same. Oh my God, that cooldown. Okay, so let's try that recall. Oh, it's very uh weak, tail attack. All right, now let's 
get those other abilities going and see if they have any different animations. And here is the Shatter Bite. Oh, that crunch, though. So satisfying. And this one. Oh. Oh my god, those bite abilities are really something else. If the Allosaurus was the Lion of the Jurassic, this is the Tiger. And I gotta say, this Torvosaurus is absolutely incredible. Now we move on to the next dinosaur on this mod list, and that is the Apatosaurus. So, we got another big sauropod. Uh, and this one is actually one I was looking forward to. It seems that everywhere I look, it's Apatosaurus craze everywhere. Whether it's here or in Prehistoric Kingdom, Apatosaurus is being kind of uh, shown off a bit. So here's the male and the female. We have the Louise variation 1, slim, stocky, the Ajax variant, and then we have the spiked versions of the same animals. The spikeless version, excuse me. Obviously, we're gonna go with the thick boy. Yeah. Bigfoot seems fitting. Oh, but now he's Littlefoot. And here is Littlefoot, but soon to be Bigfoot. So, walking speed is nothing to write home about. It's a sauropod, it's gonna be slow. But it's a very cute baby. Anyway, let's check out the run. Uh, you're, you're really not going to get away from a lot of predators this way. But hey, you can give them some form of entertainment, I guess. But we are just a little baba. So, with that said, let's check out the animations. So here's the broadcast. It sounds a lot like a whale. Uh, we have the friendly. See that again. There we go. Threaten. Very nice. Alert. General. Shake. Because you know, you gotta shake sometimes. Look around. And with this is not a sniff, it is actually just looking around. Very lovely animation. Looking up, I guess? Oh no, that's a display. A very nice looking one, too. I really like that. And this one. Maybe that's what the animation was in the Tor of Source. They're meant to be like mating displays or whatever. Anyway, let's grow, shall we? And get ready. Because this one is gonna be a big one. Yikes, I'm phasing through the floor. Oh my god, look at me. I am a titan. I guess it, it wouldn't hurt to check out the swimmy, swimmy animations. If I even can. Nope, I'm so big I reached the bottom. That's a first. But yeah, look at that animation. Like the the jiggle in the neck and that tail swing. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. So now let's check out the animations as an adult. So here we have the broadcast. Oh. Let's hear that again. It's very much like a whale or a foghorn. It's very bassy, and I really like it. It really conveys just how big this animal is. Next, we have the friendly. Ooh, I love that sound. Threaten. Yeah, I love that one too. Alert. These are all really good, General. 
Jake. The up display. Very nice. And the down display. Now, let's check out skins and abilities. Ooh. Ooh, that sitting animation. That is painfully slow. <laughs> Hopefully it gets up a lot quicker, quicker than it lays down. Let's check out the big, the skins for the big guy. Starting with the Komodo, which very much looks like the Megalania skin. The Sahal. Albino, of course. Melanistic. Suti. Geothermal. That's a that's a nice skin. Salt Flats, and I've been told this was slightly inspired by the Walking with Dinosaurs and Patasaurus seen in the Ballad of Big Al. Monarch. Shoreline. Dust Bowl. And Coastal. I may honestly have to look through the skin to see which ones I like. So we have Plate Armor, reduces the damage taken on the neck. Uh, whetstone, neck reflects a small amount of bleed. Male armor, neck reflects a small amount of damage. So if I get attacked in the neck, that's actually good. Headbutt? Yes. The head slam? Which is going to be really interesting. Senses, lone survivor or migratory, which increases the trot speed by 33% while outside of combat. Which honestly sounds really good. Uh, front limb, we have a stomp, which we will obviously be taking a look at. A front le left kick and a front right kick. And yeah, again, we'll be taking a look at those. Uh, metabolism, Op able to eat berries, bones, flowers, fruits, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, nuts, shellfish, and water plants. Lowers food and water. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're going to want that. Especially as a big animal like this. Uh, resilient scales, increases bleed and venom healing. Or heat conductor, while wet gains stamina recovery and decreases stamina drain. Legs, brace legs, ignore uphill movements, decreases speeds while moving downhill by 10%, reduces fall damage by 10%, or ten, take 10 less bone break by 15% increased bone healing. Honestly, there's not really much that can hurt the Apato in terms of leg breakage. Anyway, here we got the back kicks. And we have a couple of tail abilities, too. So here we have tail swing, charge up the attack and inflict bleed based on how long it's held. And Morrison's Lash, while crouching, whip your tail to increase your group's acceleration speed by t two times the speed by that. Which has a really cool sound effect I really, wanna, I really want you guys to hear. Now let's check out our moves. So first of all, here is the headbutt. Which looks kind of janky, just a little bit. The neck slam. Really nice. I got a concussion! Stomp. Which has an area of effect, which is really nice. Kick. And it's pretty much the same for the one on the right as well. Wait, how much of a cooldown is there? Ah, three seconds. Okay. The back kick, and it does make you stop if you do the kick. And of course, the tail attack, which has a wide area of effect, sort of, uh, a sort of deal going on. I mean, look at that swing. Look at it. Yeah, look at that. And then, of course, if we crouch, we can do this. Oh, that whip! That whip is just so good! Yeah, that's that's awesome. And for one last move, here is the tail whip. 
like proper. Bam. And there you have it, folks, the Apatosaurus. And with that, that concludes our mod showcase. Parmolo Tyrants has knocked it out of the park again, and I'm definitely looking forward to playing as the Apatosaurus here soon. So, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new. All my links are in the link tree in the description down below. And until next time, this is Tyrannosify signing off. Alrighty then, take care now. Bye bye then.